I'm Stephen Emsing, one of the co-founders of Tentry and Veritree and the uh, director of innovation at Veritree. And we're out here at Hotham Sound at our kelp restoration site. We're out here the night before the big kelp outplant. So freezing cold, it's gonna rain, big storm. This area is, it's very far from civilization, but that's where the restoration is needed the most. Unexpected challenges happen out here. When things go wrong, you want people that have good experience, that, that know how to course correct. With Veritree, they want to see adequate monitoring being done. So we're excited to, to deploy some of this monitoring tech and remotely monitoring these areas is also very helpful. So we have cameras will actually tell us and notify us if there's an issue so that the crews don't have to come out because they can just check in on the cameras and only send people out when it's absolutely necessary. Early morning, ready to head out. Storm looks like it's rolling in. Should be a fun day. We're heading out to meet one of our amazing ocean farmers who operates under uh, Coastal Kelp. The reason we started working with Coastal Kelp is because they're able to aggregate and compile a bunch of different farmers along the coast and into the Gulf Islands to amplify kelp restoration. And in particular, focus on the benefits to the ocean and the different biodiversity aspects of those projects. My name is Bretton Hills, and we are in Hotham Sound. The farm management plan has laid out three main grid lines that are sort of your permanent fixtures, and they're tied into shore. So we did that today for about 550 meters, and we put in four lines so far, and we're going to put in a bunch more this afternoon. From that, this site could potentially become like a self-sustaining site because bull kelp is a perennial growth that comes back every year. The more I learned about the issues around the ocean, around particularly like uh, life underwater, I really see my role as going out and trying to help find risk managed ways to bring more people out to do this sort of work because ocean health is super important because it's where a large amount of oxygen comes from. It's where the majority of the Earth's biomass lives. So many people don't realize that their lives depend on the health of the ocean. Coastal Kelp has found farmers that truly care about the biodiversity and the restoration of these projects on the coast. I know the team's up for it. Different kind of person has to be out here dedicating their time, risking their life to restore the ocean. The ocean and land are part of this intertwined ecosystem. If you understand the importance of protecting areas, and kelp is a key species that needs to exist to bring back fish populations and habitat. It requires to revive this area for its biodiversity. The people who depend on this ocean for their well-being can continue to do so without risk of it all being gone. We need to restore these areas. We need to balance out this ocean and biodiversity that exists within it. And we feel like this is a major step in the right direction.